If you woke up tomorrow and were able to move things with your mind, how would you use this ability? I'd probably do everything remotely from my bed for like, a week straight, and a week after I would get so bored I'd decide to get up but I would struggle to use my body at all. Then you move your body with your mind. I already do that. Whoa. Stop driving. Flying carpet for me. Keep driving, in the air. No more traffic. Guys. Just move yourself up, with your mind. Boom. You're flying. Hey, it's quite chilly here. Think I'll stick with flying car. Move the wind away from your face. Or alternatively, move the air around you so fast it heats up and you have a little bubble of warm air traveling with you. This sounds exhausting. I'll just call an Uber. A flying Uber? It is now. Flyber. Fluber. I would probably use my telekinesis to pluck the hair on my back that I cannot comfortably reach with tweezers. After that, I would eat chips without getting my fingers covered in stuff. Oh, and I would probably also use it to close the blinds if there was a glare on the television. Use chopsticks. For the chips. Not back hair. Why not both? At the same time. It'd start up a moving company. Specialize in moving safes and pianos. Maximize time to profit ratio. No need to waste your time moving lamps for pennies. Me? I'm aiming bigger. Elon Musk will launch your satellite for $2 million. I'll do it for $500,000. If you really want to maximize profits, get into anything that would normally require a helicopter crane. Or better yet, market yourself as being able to lift things a helicopter crane couldn't. Good part of the market. Crane lift will cost $7,000 lowest. Helicopter lifts for things cranes don't reach under 5,000 pounds are about $16,000. Now, if you need to go higher weights, it was $198,000 last time I did it. Maybe $10,000 less in terms of reduced closure permits had a crane worked. Though, you should probably build a convincing drone and lift it with your packages. If you just make things float, people will assume you're a witch or a superhero, and you will be killed most likely. Pretty sure if you lift a building with a parrot our people will still think you're a witch. Now nah, they'll just think the drone is a witch. And who can stand against a drone witch? It'd use it to move my legs. Ah. When you're sad don't feel down about yourself break someone's leg and laugh. Powerful advice, thank you. It didn't work. Now we're both sad and I have to get a lawyer. I would go back to sleep. That's a good answer, you just don't give a shit. Nothing really mattress. Do the old dollar on a string on the sidewalk trick but without the string. You can do that inside your house without getting infected. There would need to be someone there. Trust me, string or no string, that joke is no fun to play on yourself. Play it on a pet. That would be endless fun with a playful cat. Buy anything expensive that is sold in Viked, make it lighter when I buy it and later on make it heavier when I sell it. Sir I think 1,300 bananas cost more than 1.47. Later on, sir I think 4 bananas should be cheaper than 200. Not during these times. Get rich and act like I don't know nobody but you gotta blow up first. Do you have other goals or? That's his main one. That's his mango. I would use it convincing one naive person that I was getting stronger, and that I must be stopped, thereby giving myself an arch enemy, I've always wanted one. It kinda hope that someone would become so fascinated by me that they'd spend every waking moment trying to replicate my power, and when they do they'll make it their prime objective to put me in the ground because they want to be the only one left with such power. There can only be one. No bro. There can be two. For real. We can even team up. It's cool. No. 
Only one. You, float away. Honestly, I'd have a hands-free morning wank. If you try hard enough you can probably do that without powers. Give myself the remote without moving from the couch. Just like I would pretend to do as a kid. Make every shot in basketball. Probably easier to make money in golf. Bingo. Par 5. On the green. 98 foot putt. No problem. Double eagle, give me that green jacket and let's cash some checks. And the best part will be that no one will be able to understand how the man with, probably, terrible form and strokes is so goddamn good. There will be books about the seeming amateur that managed to slaughter the masters on his debut year. People would be trying to copy the form. Now that I think of it it's kind of sad. I think ITD probably be easier to cheat at football and just be a really good kicker. Most of the time you won't be attempting any crazy distance and you can get paid a lot for basically making any distance kick that you're required to. And the effort is low as you might not even have to kick all the time. Slightly turn a statue like the Statue of Liberty day by day by a certain degree until somebody starts to notice and the rinse and repeat on other famous statues. Edit, thanks for the silver award kind stranger. This is the best one. That is until the Statue of Liberty just cracks and falls over. Just casually glue it back together using telekinesis. Mess with my coworkers. Move objects a few inches to the left or right of where they left them. Things like that. Probably just make my life easier. Forgot to close the fridge. Shut it with my mind. Forgot to close the door. Fixed. And other useless shit at it. Thanks for all of the cake day wishes. This is my first year so I'm still learning. Who forgets to close the fridge? I think I never forgot to do that. No offense edit, the amount of people who forget to close the fridge is higher than I thought it would be. We do, well, kind of. Our fridge is quite old and sometimes when you close it, it kind of just hangs ajar. Many times one of us has been drifting off to sleep and then. Is the fridge door closed properly? You can actually blame your floor here. Old floors will sag toward the direction with the least support, so gravity then pulls the door open. But most fridges have adjustable feet where you make it tilt properly backward against minor forward inclines. This doesn't need to keep you up at night. Just fix gravity. Place phone camera facing the back of my head, cast the live stream to my TV. Then use my new ability to control a pair of scissors to cut the hair on the back of my head. Edit to add, thanks for all the suggestions on using mirrors and warning about learning to cut hair first. I have been cutting my husband's and my kid's hair for years. However my main concern for cutting my own is not just that I couldn't see the back of my head, but that my arms can't bend that well. Ideally you want to keep the scissors closer to the skin rather than lifting up the hair too much, which will result in a distorted angle. Although at the moment we are in lockdown and no one can see the back of my head in video conferencing. Hmm. So like the stitching scene in X-Men where Magneto is sticking a wound on the back of his head with a metal needle. 1. Go to a casino 2. Flip all the roulette, blackjack, craps table simultaneously. Three. Profit. I've worked at a casino. You'd get tossed after two. Maybe one, depending where you're at. Wait, one. That's like saying you're not supposed to win there. Ha ha ha, you're not. As my dad always told me growing up, you don't see casinos going out of business. Unless you're just a terrible businessman, I guess. Edit, okay, I added the last line to hedge my bets against people mentioning Trump, but I clearly didn't go far enough. Yes, casinos are a business and can go out of business if they're poorly managed or run out of revenue streams, same as any business. Don't take this literally, take it for the lesson behind it, casinos wouldn't exist if they lost more than they won. I would use it to make my movement a little harder. So my muscles will get used to it and I get stronger. It is good practice for new power too. In the same vein, you could probably use the telekinesis to make little tears in your muscle fibers, so you can build muscle without doing anything at all. Massage them afterwards and engage neurons for faster recovery.